Welcome back everybody for another video. This is pretty much a bonus video as I've ordered some new stuff for this Lenovo Legion 5 laptop. I wanted to replace my keyboard and mouse because as you can see they were quite boring. So I got some SteelSeries accessories, an Apex 7 keyboard with um, MX Blue clicky uh, switches, as well as a new mouse, the Rival 600. So this is a small unboxing, let's have a look at what's in the box, as you can see it uh, has some nice packaging. So this is going to be pretty much my first unboxing video, I just want to bring you guys through the journey as I'm upgrading my entire setup. Here you can see the mouse, it already has a really good feeling to it, it has a really really nice texture, good grippy texture to it. Let's have a look at the box accessories or at least the stuff that it comes with. Here you got the weights. So you can adjust the weight of your mouse, the power cable, micro USB, and now for the Steel Series Apex 7, the RGB keyboard with programmable keys. My laptop only has backlighting, one color which is white, and this will allow me to program per key and have multiple colors on my keyboard. Mechanical switches. Cherry MX Blue, click sounds, and uh, overall better grip. A nice keyboard. A nice palm rest with a really smooth texture to it as well. There you got the entire package. The entire accessory set. Alright, so the tricky part is we're going to need u two USB ports for this keyboard. I think one is for the power and the other one is for the... Um, installation of it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip out these cables from the monitor one was for the mouse and one was for the keyboard I'm gonna put the keyboard USB plugs into this monitor and then I'll just extend my mouse to a fit into one of the um, ports of the USB on the laptop so I am running out of USB ports but I was using one for the ring light lighting as you might have seen in one of my other videos so as you can see, once you connect it, it requests a installment of the software. So let's go ahead and do that. And there you go. You can see the software automatically detects the mouse and the keyboard. Also, it is notifying us that there's a firmware update. So let's go ahead and do that first. I might actually make another video on this uh, software that comes with this mouse and keyboard. There's some really cool features in it, so we'll have a look at that right now. So let's go ahead and click on apps. You can see all these different apps you can use with the keyboard and maybe even the mouse. So here are some of the keyboard configuration settings. You can set colors per key and I think also interactions. You've got key bindings, illumination and the OLED screen which you can customize. Same goes for the mouse, all customizable colors and buttons. Illumination, you can see the colors per section, which you can change. Oh yeah, I like this update a lot, I like this. So yeah, there's our Legion 5 RGB update. Nice clicky keys as you can hear. Cool effects when you push, key press them. This is something we might cover in another video, but um, yeah, I'm actually uh, satisfied with this. Satisfying clicky sound. Not for everyone, but I'm using this for my home office, so uh, no one's going to be bothered by it. So let's let's test out some gaming. So as you can see, the keyboard color scheme already adjusted according to the game. The cool thing about this setup is also when you, uh, when you die in this game, your mouse and your keyboard will actually react to it. So your mouse lighting will switch off and the keyboard lighting will partially switch off and you can probably customize this per game maybe even make your own programs there you go you can see this light switched off so this is the old setup replaced with the new steel series so as you can see there are no limitations to the legion 5 so far when it comes to accessories software and performance it handles this all very well here you can see the complete setup 
So this was just a small update video. I'm making some other videos, other type of content. I'm going to do some hackathons, maybe some scripting for this keyboard. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And see you all in the next video.